Hey everybody, Mr. Hollick here. Welcome to Floss Tube number, I don't even remember where I'm at. Uh, it's been so long. But every time I keep ready to make a new floss tube, I just figure I need to wait a little longer so I have some stuff done and I never get anything done and I've been in a funk, but I'm back. And one of the one of the awesome reasons that I'm back is I was on the wait list for StitchCon 2024 and I made it, made it. So I'm in weekend A. Uh, so that's, I'm very, very excited and happy about that. Um, if anybody knows what you might find different about me from my last video, put it in the comments below. Let's see who recognizes what's different. Um, this is just going to be a real quick video. I just wanted to say, hey, I'm back. I'm going to get stitching. And um, last month I went to my local uh, LNS stores. Uh, stitchers and stitches group and that was great fun I stitched all day that was super fun um, the this April's this month is this weekend actually but I'm gonna be out of town in Georgia so if anybody has anything going on in Georgia let me know um, I just thought I'd show you what's in my bag um, what do I have that I need to be working on first it's this awesome heart and hand cuckoo bird you know i know you guys see i've done the i've done the blue bird i've done the uh hummingbird and i've done oh boy what is the other bird it's a red bird red bird i don't think that's it so if i'll put it in the comments what it was um actually let me look let me look here i have it over here it's not finished. Well, no, it's finished. Which one is this one? Yeah, Redbird. Redbird. It is called the Redbird. There it is. I've had that done for a while, but I still need to get it finished. Fully finished. Um, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. So, Cuckoo Bird's on my list. I, I love those. I love these. I love these. I love Heart and Hand. Um, also, from Caterpillar Cross Stitch, I have this Hop To It kit um, that I want to put on my little list of things to do. Whoop. Somebody was texting me. They always do that right when I'm in the middle of something. Anyway, this is a fun one. I was going to do this one uh, for Easter. It's a nice kit. Uh, I love the Caterpillar Cross Stitch. They have all sorts of fun things, but hopefully you can see it pretty good. Um, I was going to do it for Easter. Easter is over. Um, so I didn't make it. So maybe uh, maybe next week. Speaking of not making it, I am determined this year to finish this Teresa Kogat piece. Um, it's called the uh, Quaker, or uh, Scylla Witches Quaker. And it is really fun. I know mo a lot of you have seen it. Here is a photo, or a, here's the pattern, or the whatever. I took it out of the plastic so you could actually see it. But this is amazing. Uh, this is an amazing piece here. And I've had it for two years. I don't, I don't know. But um, I'm going to work on this one this year hard and uh for halloween so here's what i've got so far <laughs> not much i got that little witch in the corner so there she is i got the little witch and the little kitty um but i like it i like this i like this a lot so i'm determined that this is going to be the year that i make a good effort on that one um Let's see what else is in my bag. Okay, this next one, I know you guys have seen. It is a free pattern from DMC. It's on their website, so I could probably show you the pattern. I don't think it's a problem because it's free. Um, it's a Christmas one. Um, I actually had to cut, I had to make it two copies and cut this part right here out and move it over, move it over one, one square, one space because otherwise it was out of whack. So I could not have that. 
but it's cool. It's a little sampler, a little Christmas sampler with some little reindeers and a snowflake. And, you know, uh, we'll see what I've got done so far. Bloop. There's what I've got. So I enjoy this one. I like this one a lot. And it's really nice and it's free. It was a free pattern. You gotta love that. So I got that. That is on my list to be done for Christmas this year. I'm gonna try to get a lot of these whips that I've been fiddling around with done. Last but not least, I am I am almost completed the cereal sow. And it is. It's about evidence. Each block is evidence from a serial serial killer. Um, evidence that helped them to get um, caught. So here's where I am on this. I've only got one, two, three little blocks left. So hopefully I can pull this off. I'd like to have this finished here soon. Um, it might be my my finish last block finished for uh stitch con this year so hopefully if i don't get it finished before then um what else oh i'm super 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 duper duper excited um oh boy i wish i i oh boy i don't have a poor planning um i don't have the name i think it's I can't think of the darn name of, of the company, but it's called, I'll put it in here. It's called uh, the uh, Fragments in Time. And then the one I'm very excited about is called Tales from the Sea. And I already ordered the patterns and I ordered the fabric from Fabrics by Stephanie. I ordered the Colonial Parchment Fabric, which I'll show you when it comes in. And I saw this pattern, uh, Pam, Pam, just keep stitching, uh, has in her last a couple videos has shown that and I saw it and I just fell in love with it. It's beautiful. It's so, wait a minute. I have, I, I know what it is. It is, um, I have it right here. I have the border. This is the border and it has eight blocks. And it is uh, Fragments in Time, like I said, from um, Summer House Stitch Works. Summer House Stitch Works. Summer House Stitch Works. Uh, you can go to there, summerhousestitchworks.com to find that. It's called Tales from the Sea, Fragments in Time. And that was from 2021. They have other ones. And they and they all, a lot of these um, the little blocks are made into like pillows or, you know, and what, whatnot. I hate that word. I'm sorry I used it. Um, but uh, each block uh, can be made into like a, a pillow or a little cushion or something. Or it, they have these free frames. I don't know if you can see it, but the frames are real nice. They have a lot of, a lot of intricate work in the frames. Um, and they look really nice. That's how I like to do them. I like to do them like that, so they're all on one piece. Um, but I'm very excited about that. So that I am planning on being my StitchCon 2024 Weekend A start. And I think that if I plan to start it then, and then I will plan it to be a finish for StitchCon 2025. And that gives me ample time and I know it sounds reasonable uh, to have done in a year. Like you could do anything in a year, right? Right? Well, maybe not. Um, like I said, uh, the stuff you see that I showed you today, I have had last year work as a whip. Um, anyway, I digress. Sorry for my um, discombobulation today. I probably wasn't really prepared but I wanted to make this video and get it out there to let y'all know I'm back. I'm I'm rocking. Also, I have a I, maybe I'll have a special guest in my next one because I yesterday was teaching 
I'm not a great teacher, but I was teaching my girlfriend, Teresa, Tori, we call her, uh, how to stitch. She expressed interest in wanting to learn to cross stitch, and I was so excited, I almost just fell out of my chair uh, when she told me she wanted to, to do it. And so we did that last night. She did a little stitching, and um, she really liked it. So maybe now I'll have somebody to go with me to retreats and stitch with me, and that'll be fun. Yeah, I mean, it's everybody's dream, right? To have their significant other uh, stitch with them. I mean, what a great, what a great uh, sharing of a amazing hobby. So she took to it just fantastic. Um, well, anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. And sorry, I've been just kind of all over the place in this video, uh, unprepared and etc. But. If I waited till I was prepared and had everything laid out like all you other amazing floss tubers out there do uh, in your amazing videos, I would still be waiting to make a video for another six months. So just winging it. <laughs> all right, everybody. Mr. Holick here. Keep on stitching.